Hello everyone, I hope you are doing good. My name is Ashutosh and today we are going to demonstrate how to install Cumulus Linux in GNS3. So let's start it. So the first requirement is to download the VX file from Cumulus portal and that is what I have already done. So let's not waste our time and open the Oracle virtual box. So basically we will be using uh, Oracle virtual box for creating the VMs and then uh, we will import it So here is our image and uh, Let's name it something What do we want to name it? Um, switch one Let's increase the RAM as well if you don't have enough RAM then uh, you don't need to increase it A bunch of it so I'm increasing it so this will take some time and then it will be done. Let me open GNS3 meanwhile. I'm using legacy version of GNS3. If you want to have a look on the uh, version, I will show you. Is it done? Yeah. So let's import another one. Let's increase the resources for this as well. So it is under progress. So let me show you what is the version of GNS3 over here. So it is 1.3.13. So I'm using the older version of it. And uh, let's go to the edit and then preference. Uh, since we are using VirtualBox, then we will be using it. Let me remove the old both of the switches and here i see switch number one and let add let's add another one switch number two done so let's edit few properties of it uh, we need to make sure that uh, when we click on the vm uh, we are able to get the console of the devices that's why we have to enable this enable remote console and uh, then we need to increase the number of the interfaces so let's use four interfaces and since we have been using uh, virtualized environment then we need to use the para virtualized network so this is done for switch two let's do it for switch one same stuff i need to do over here then increase the number of interfaces to four and use the para virtualized interface and Apply and then okay so this will be reflecting in these post this is our switch one this is our switch two and uh, I'm not using any PC right now I'm just using our router as a PC I will disable the routing functionality of this particular uh, router so this is how we can establish the communication so for this particular demonstration what I will do I will do one stuff which is making up both of the cumulus switches and in our next video what we will do we will go ahead with the initial configuration of the switches and we will make sure if we can reach from r1 to r2 so let's turn them on it will take some time let's wait for it to come up so our switches are up let's see if we can access it now Fair enough, we are able to access it. So default username is Cumulus and the password is Cumulus Linux and bank. Now let me write the password over here. L is capital and the C is capital and then exclamation or bank whatever you wish to say. So this is the password. So we are able to access this particular device and So these are the interfaces we have available with us as you can see switch one switch port one two three and ethernet zero and the loopback interface is also there so thanks for watching our video please subscribe to our channel thank you bye bye